Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my mom and Hurricane fans. I got a two for one, a two for one. Yes, we got two videos to do today. Um, obviously, got a little busy yesterday, so I didn't report to you guys. But Juan Manaya, Juan Manaya, has committed to the University of Miami. Now, this is a huge specimen right here. Inside offensive lineman, of course, um, 6'6", 335 pounds. He's out of New Jersey, uh, Paramus, New Jersey. Man, man, um, Paramus, I'm um, Catholic. That's where he goes. Now, obviously, not a guy that's hit up a lot of um, camps and all that other stuff, so a lot of the 247 sports rivals and all those guys haven't really done any evaluations on him. But, but, I trust my coach's evaluation. I trust their evaluation. Yes, now... Mr. Manaya here has some offers. He chose the University of Miami over the Florida Gators. Yes, yes, he chose the Miami Hurricanes over the Florida Gators. Yes, now, obviously, he got a lot of, um, you know, um, you know, offers. Let me just go ahead and show you the list. So, Miami offered, of course, he committed to Miami. Um, Duke offered, Maryland offered, um, Akron Boston College, um, Coastal Carolina, Connecticut. Oh, the Florida Gators. They offered. We stuffed them in a the locker for them. Um, Kentucky offered. Um, Michigan State, Ole Miss, Penn State, Pitt, Syracuse, Temple, and West Virginia. A lot of D1 offers there. A lot of big-name schools, SEC schools, um, Big Ten, all of that. He chose the Miami Hurricane. Gave his verbal yesterday. So, um... Most of you guys probably want to know what he looks like. Look, let's take a quick a quick look at the huddle. We're not going to spend too much time on this, guys. But he did commit to the University of Miami. Yes. 3.0 GPA. All right. So here we are. Boom. Boom. Oh, that's a little man. That's a little man. That's, that's easy work right there. That's easy work. That was a little man. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Oh. All right, all right. Whew. Excuse me, guys. Early in the morning. Um, that was a double team. Can't put too much stock on oh, another little man. Another little man. Easy work. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Boom. All right. Another double team. Open up the gap. Touchdown. Okay. Cool. No, 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 no much. All right. All right. This, I'm seeing a lot of little guys on the D line, man. I, I can't, I can't lie, I can't lie to you guys. I'm seeing a lot of D, a lot of small, guys. another small one, another small one. These defensive linemen up here is real. In what's going on in New Jersey? What are they feeding these defensive linemen? Are they not hungry? Do they need to go um get some defensive linemen from some single parent households? Deion Sanders. <laughs> no, no, no. But um, yeah, small small guys. It seems like it's a lot of small guys. My my guy is dealing with a lot of a lot of small, unphysical defensive linemen. I'm I'm sorry sorry to say it. But nonetheless, he's doing his job. He's doing his job. Now, you can't teach you can't teach six six. That's one thing you can't teach. That height. I noticed our defensive line. Our, I'm sorry, our offensive line is going to be huge. I think Mario has already established a kind of stature, a kind of um, size, everything like that, that he's trying to build that defensive line in, build the trenches, to be honest with you. I think y'all seen enough. Um, I think y'all seen enough. One more time, one more time. Protect, 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 boom. Okay, cool. Gave his quarterback enough time to do what he needed to do. But, yeah, man. Congratulations to my guy for picking the Miami Hurricanes and coming on board. Yes, yes. Um, welcome, my guy, to the University of Miami. Now, obviously, I'm on 247 Sports. ESPN um, has put out their um, FPI win possibilities for the Miami Hurricanes schedule 2023. Now, this is coming from an article on Inside the U. So... Let's go ahead and just go straight to the win possibility, guys. More than likely, what they're going to do is they're going to predict our win 
for each game on the season. So let's just see what they got, and we'll find out. We'll find out. So, of course, um, you know, <sighs> man, of course, you know, last year wasn't all that great. So game one, game one, Miami wins. They're predicting a win. Game two, Miami loses. So they're predicting us to lose to Texas A&M. Um, game three, of course, that's going to be a win. Miami wins. Um, game, Miami wins, of course. This is um, Temple. So they're saying we're going to start 3-1. Then we're going to be 4-1. and one. We're going to beat um, Georgia Tech. We play North Carolina. They're saying we're going to lose in North Carolina. So we're 4-2 and two after six games, guy. Halfway through the season, they got us predicted at 4-2. and two. Then we play um, Clemson. Then we lose that one. We're predicted to be 4-3. and three. Play Virginia. We win that one. So now they got us at 5-3. 5-3. One game away from being bowl eligible. Five wins already um, match the wins from the past season. Then we play NC State. They say we're going to lose that one. Then we play Florida State. They say we're going to lose that one. Play Louisville. They say we're going to beat Louisville and become bowl eligible. So Miami will be bowl eligible according to this ESPN FBI. Then we play at Boston College and we win Finishing the season at seven and five, seven and five guys. Um, two wins improved. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I can't say I want to debate any of these um, wins and losses. Um, they're all possible. Um, I think the ceiling this season is probably like eight and four. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of a lot of work to be done. I think more of more of the um, the com competition you'll see in Miami is more likely it's going to be in 24 and 25. We're building this thing, you know. It's going to be take some time. Last season, you know, we didn't really know how terrible we were until we saw it. So, 75 bowl eligible, playing some some um, low rank bowl or whatever, and. You know, we'll see, we'll see. So the 50-50, man, slight underdog. They got a little metrics here they showing. So, obviously, like, Miami of Ohio, um, um, Bethune-Cookman, Temple, Georgia Tech, and Virginia. Those are the teams that will play that we will be favored. Um, they're saying it's 50-50 when it comes to Texas A&M, North Carolina, and NC State. So, those games could go either way. Now, they did choose um, all three of those teams against us. So, those are games that could swing either way. Miami could possibly win them or could possibly lose them. Um, they're also giving us a slight edge over Louisville and um, Boston College. Now, the only two teams that we will be a solid underdog is Clemson and Florida State. Now, that's... That's um, what you call it. That's agreeable. That's, um, you know, going into the season, those two teams do have a little bit of more upside and they have a little bit of edge against Miami. So, you know, I can't say I, I disagree with anything in this. But, hey, wait and see, man. Game, game by game, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, guys, let me know how you guys are feeling. Um, new commit, um, one, of course, offensive lineman. Um, hasn't been listed yet, but more than likely when they update the, the um, star rankings and everything, he'll be listed as a three star. But like, share, subscribe, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Um, T2Y, I'm out. Oh.